Hey guys, it's Gareth. Uh, well, by now we've probably all heard that actor Ellen Page has now become Elliot Page. She has now become a he. And this is what we're going to be talking about today. A quick little article regarding this uh, incredible human being, Elliot Page. I almost said Ellen Page. It's, uh, it's hard to get my, my mind around that she's now a he and that, she, that her name is now a he name. Uh, I'm going to get around it, but yeah, I, I think she's honestly really brave and really cool for having done this. Uh, here are some of the photos of her famous movie roles. Uh, Juno, was that Juno? There's Juno there. Of course, she was in the X-Men movies. Look how young she was when she was in the X-Men movies. Wow, that's so cool. Uh, here's a Wikipedia page of uh, some of her really cool filmography roles that she's been in. Uh, Juno and X-Men are, are some of the ones that, of course, all of us would know more so. But, of course, she's in the new television set series, uh, Umbrella Academy. Wow. Uh, Patty. Patty watches this from time to time. Patty, uh, we're talking about you today because I know you absolutely love Umbrella Academy. <laughs> uh, let's read a quick little article regarding uh, what's going on. This is from news.com.au. Actor Elliot Page gives first in-depth interview since coming out as transgender. Uh, also, one more thing. She has now undergone surgery uh, to remove the booby area. Uh, we're going to be talking about that as well. So here we go. So actor Elliot Page has given uh, the first his first in-depth interview since coming out as transgender, revealing the surgery that transformed his life. Wow. Uh, very cool, very brave person to undergo all of this and to do it in a public light, to do it in a public space as well. Uh, you know, severely a brave thing to do, really is. Uh, Elliot Page says that he's able to fully embrace who he is after coming out as transgender months ago. Uh, the 34-year-old Umbrella Academy star tells Time, uh, Time magazine, in its latest cover story that he anticipated a lot of support and love and a massive amount of hatred and uh, transphobia upon announcing in December that he is transgender. And that's essentially wh what happened, he told the magazine. So there was a lot of love and support and there was a lot of uh, hate as well, unfortunately. Uh, and that's essentially what happened. The actor detailed the, diff the, the difficulties he faced during his, role, his, his rise to fame as a child star. So yeah, she's, she slash he, he's been, uh, you know, been in movies for a long, long time now. Very interesting. Uh, before landing female roles in big blockbusters like Juno and Inception. God, Inception was a great movie with Leonardo DiCaprio. Tom Hardy? Tom Hardy was in it too, wasn't he? I think he was. Uh, playing these roles on camera was a part of his job as an actor, but struggling with his identity at an early age proved to add to the pressures of being in the spotlight. Absolutely, you know. Uh, I'm sure we've all been, you know, online bullied at some point in time. Uh, imagine that times a million as an actor, uh, you know, having news articles talk about you for people to read all around the world. Uh, wow. Uh, yeah, my bird is sneezing. You birds okay? Little birdies. Anyway, <laughs> back to the story, everybody. Uh, and that's essentially what happened. So, the, of being in the spotlight, I became a professional actor at the age of 10. Page said, of course, I had to look a certain way. Obviously, when you're a, you know, a female celebrity or a male celebrity, let's say if you're, if you're a male celebrity, you have to look you know, manly, masculine, uh, and, and you know, good looking and all that type of stuff. If you're a girl, if you're a female actress in the industry, you would need to uh, look you know, pumped up, pumped up? Pimped up? What's the word? I can't even think of it anymore. Like, you know, dolled up. That'll do. You need to look dolled up. You know, beautiful little dress, beautiful little skirt, uh, leggings. What, what am I even talking about anymore? Makeup? I don't know. But these were the things that were expected of her slash him when she was, you know, acting at a young age and she didn't quite feel like that was her. Uh, she had to look a certain way. So that's her. That's his Time magazine article. Really, really cool. Uh, Page said that uh, he felt like a boy and wanted to be a boy during his childhood. I would ask my mum if I could be a boy someday. And uh, yeah, boy, but by 21, the actor said that he recognized the public's perception of him did not equate 
with who he truly was deep within. Wow, that's sad. That's sad. I just never recognized myself, Paige told the outlet. For a long time, I could not even look at a photo of myself. Wow, that must be, must have been so depressing and hard for her. I keep saying he, her, him. It's, it's hard to wrap my head around it, but it's, I mean, it's, it's easy. But getting the her to him to stick, it will eventually. But very interesting article nonetheless. Am I going to get transphobia hate in a second? Am I going to get comments down below? Let's hope not. Okay, I'm with him. I, there we go. I just said it. I'm with him. All right, there we go. <laughs> God, that's all we need. Bunch of um, very angry people on my, on my page down below. So I'd ask my mum if I could be someday. Paige said, by 21, the actor said that he recognized the public's perception of him did not equate with who he truly was deep within. I just never, just never recognized myself, Paige told the outlet. For a long time, I could not even look at a photo of myself. Uh, we've already read, read that, of course. Paige recalled suffering from anxiety, depression, and panic attacks. He struggled with how to explain to people that even though I was an actor, just putting on a t-shirt cut for women would make me feel so unwell. Wow, that's depressing. That must have really sucked for him. There we go. We're learning. We're learning the process now. Him. All right, guys. <laughs> We're getting there, everybody. Paige, who is currently filming Umbrella Academy. Yes, he is in Toronto. Uh, he, he came out as, as gay back in 2014. In 2018, the star married partner Emma... Port Portner? Emma Portner. Emma Portner. Although the two announced early in January 2021 that they were, were are divorcing. That sucks for them. He said, the difference in how I felt before coming out as gay to after was massive. But it didn't address his gender identity. But did the discomfort in my body ever go away? No, 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 no. I will never forget no, no, that's a Jared Leto song. 30 Seconds to Mars, never mind. Uh, he continued, no, 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 no. Paige revealed that he underwent a surgical procedure to remove his breast tissue, also known as a... We're going to make that read for us, okay? Subcutaneous mastectomy. Subcutaneous mastectomy. Oh, God. Help me now, everybody. Help me now. Uh, let's, thank goodness there are very smart people who actually can actually perform these procedures. Uh, it has completely transformed my life, he added. That's awesome. Paige was recovering from surgery in Toronto when he announced to the world that he is transgender uh, in the months prior. The actor said he, he gave it much thought. I had a lot of time on my own to really focus on things that I think in so many ways unconsciously I was avoiding. He said nothing that N noting, noting that shame and discomfort uh, led to his depression. God, that would really suck, wouldn't it? Poor guy. He looks like a real, really cool guy. Like if that person walked down the street right now, uh, I would think that's a man. That, I absolutely would think that's a man. I would not think that that person has starred opposite Leonardo DiCaprio as a possible love, love interest. I, <laughs> I would not think so. Clearly, whatever he's doing to make himself look this way is actually working and working well. Good on you, mate. Uh, this article's almost finished, unfortunately. I was finally able to embrace being transgender, Paige continued, and letting myself fully become who I was. In his lengthy statement in December, Paige said that he felt lucky to come out. He also cast blame at politicians who work to criminalize trans health care and deny our right to exist. Jeez, that must suck for them. Yeah. You're, you, you, you unleash a fury of vile and demeaning rage that lands on the shoulders of the trans community. A community in which 40% uh, which, uh, of trans adults reportedly attempting suicide. Uh, that's terrible. That really does not, uh, that does not sound good at all. Enough is enough. Uh, you aren't being counseled. You are hurting people. I am one of those people and we will not be silenced. Silent in the face of, uh, of your attacks, Paige said at the time. Now the actor is decided to, uh, to be another advocate for the trans community. Has, sorry, the actor has dedicated, is now dedicated to being an, an another advocate for the trans community. Wow. 
uh, extremely influential people are spreading these myths and uh, damaging rhetorics. What's that one? What's that one, everybody? Rhetoric. Rhetoric. Every day, you're seeing our existence uh, d debated. Wow. So yeah, trans people, transgender people are, are so very real, and uh, yeah, they absolutely are. And by the sounds of this article, and what she slash he was going through, a uh, lot of you know stress, anxiety, depression. Uh, wow. Good luck to you guys. I hope whatever you do in life, you win at it. Anyway, there you go. That's been a quick little article regarding Ellen Page, Ali Elliot Page. Uh, yeah, which has been your favorite movie from this actor? Uh, probably the X-Men movies and Umbrella Academy as a TV show. Of course, she was in that, that uh, PlayStation game, wasn't she? Beyond Two Souls. Beyond Two Souls, I think it was. Uh, guys, my name is Gareth Walton. We do daily videos on this channel. We talk about absolutely everything, including unboxing things. You guys can find me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. And we are also on uh, YouTube with two different channels. Channel one, channel two. Two has the two next to it, and one has the one next to it. I love you all, and I'll see you for the next video. Peace out. Bye.